continue to have these same issues over and over again. So I hope to earn some of you guys' support if you live in Pasadena. And uh, thank you so much for this time. Go ahead, Mr. Rathen. Okay. Uh, good evening, good uh, sisters and brothers. Uh, I'm Peter Matthews, a political science professor at Cypress College, activist in Long Beach, 30 year resident of Long Beach. Uh, I was born in India. My parents brought me here when I was 10 years old. But while I was in India at the age of nine, I used to go home from school every day, walking home. I got to my large gate and wonderful yard and, and wall around the house. And what I saw there was four or five people waiting for food. I knew that was the case. It could happen every day. I walked past them. I said hello to them, opened the gate, went to my mom's kitchen. She had two plates of food, hot food ready for them with some money to give them. I took the food and plates back to them, with the to money to them to give them the gate. When I stood there in front of the gate and saw the folks that looked so much like me, those two little children with skin and bones, and they were so emaciated, hadn't eaten for probably days. I wondered something in my heart. Something hit me at the age of nine. And that was, why is it I'm on this side of the gate, well-fed, well-clothed, well-educated with my parents who love me just as much as their parents love their children, and those parents couldn't do a thing for their kids because of the system. The systemic structural inequality that we saw in India back then exists today in America, as you know. There's so many children today going to bed hungry, 20% of our children go to bed hungry sometime during the month in this country, the richest country in the world. Talk about food insecurity. My community college students at Cypress College, 20% are living in their cars. And this cannot be tolerated. I support a Green New Deal with jobs that will create new technologies, for all kinds of uh, clean energy. We've got to stop the fossil fuel burning. We've got to bring down to zero emissions by in 10 years. We don't have 20 years to wait around for that. And we can use that for high-paying jobs that will stop climate change. We have to have single-payer universal health care, Medicare for all, because health care is a human right, not a privilege. Housing. How do we allow homeless people to just suffer like this in this country? You know, the leader in our city has gentrified downtown Long Beach with a beautiful sky-rise uh, condominiums that rent for $25,000 a month. And people from Los Angeles and Beverly Hills come down and buy those things. And it's pushed and, out and the class class. working class. It's pushed out our working class out of downtown Long Beach. Is that my time slot? Oh, someone's paid. Right? Yeah. So that's what's been happening in my district. I would like to go to Congress to close the corporate tax loopholes, tax billionaires and millionaires, billionaires, and multimillionaires more, uh, cut the defense budget by 20 percent, bring it down for home people, for programs for human beings and have tuition free education and have our student debt canceled completely. I'm a total progressive Democrat, never received corporate money for my campaign. I ran against the incumbent two years ago and got came in second out of four Democrats without corporate money. This time I'm running in an open seat for the first time and we can really win this with your help, please, folks. Please remember that what the scripture says, where there is no vision, the people perish. We've got to bring back the vision of Harriet Tubman, Eleanor Roosevelt, Franklin Roosevelt, all kinds of modern people who are so much for social justice in our Democratic Party. Also. Thank you so much and God bless you all. I appreciate your support. Peter Matthews for Congress.org. Thank you. Hi, I'm Cherie Onika Vallejo. I'm an Afro-Latina that's running to be the first woman chief prosecutor in the city of LA. I can't believe it's 2022 and we're still making records like this. I'm also an Afro-Latina and a mother of two, one of whom has special needs. And I'm running because I need to abolish police brutality and excessive force. I work as a teacher by day to study the school to prison pipeline. And I work as a domestic violence attorney at night to protect those who can't protect themselves.